You're traveling by train and hear the wheels banging against the tracks, but suddenly the train rises and gains altitude. None of the passengers scream in panic because this is a regular thing now. Well, maybe not yet, but it might become our reality anytime soon. Aka Technologies Company is developing such a project. Their goal is to reduce travel time and make trips more comfortable. To travel today, you need to get to the airport, spend a few hours there at the check-in and security check. And only after that can you board the plane. When the plane lands, you need to go through standard airport procedures again and then get to the city. Only after this, your trip is over. It means you use at least three different types of transport. But with Link and Fly from Aka Technologies, you can get to your destination without any transfers. This is a train the size of an Airbus A320. It's as long as four school buses and can hold about 162 passengers. Since it's a train, it can run on the subway tracks right to the city center. So when you begin a trip, you just need to get to the nearest subway station. Once you're on the train, it takes you to the nearest airport. And there, the fun part begins. The train makes a quick stop to get the wings and jet engines attached. So now, your train has a wingspan as wide as a soccer field. The engines start, the train accelerates and takes off. After the flying train lands, the wings get detached again, and you're on your way downtown and your destination with no transfers, without having to wait for a cab. And again, you can get off at any subway station. Transformer planes that can drive around the city are the distant future. For now, this company is developing a simpler solution to reduce airport overloads. Instead of having a plane parked right next to the gate, passengers will board the plane's fuselage right inside the airport's building. The fuselage will then pull out onto the runway, and the wings with the engines, as well as the cockpit with the pilots, will be attached. Here you go, the plane is ready for takeoff. This system will make boarding and takeoff 30 minutes faster than before. The company plans to make different types of removable fuselages. For short flights, they will have a capacity of about 160 people. There will be double-deck cabins for long-haul and higher-capacity flights. VIP cabins can be customized like a private jet. And if all the seats are removed, the cabin can be used as a cargo plane. Link and Fly has a special safety system in case the cabin separates from the wings during the flight. Three parachutes at the front and three at the back of the cabin will deploy automatically. There are also braking rockets that can help to quickly reduce the speed. This way, the fuselage will descend slowly and safely. A few seconds before touching the ground, the cabin will launch airbags attached to the bottom of the fuselage for the softest possible landing. Another option for traveling faster is the Airbus pop-up. It's a kind of taxi that can travel by road and by air. In the future, you can simply order such a cab from your tablet, phone, or even smart glasses and wait for the vehicle to arrive. The car itself consists of a passenger pod half the size of a modern sedan. It can hold two people and has a futuristic design and interface. The second part is the ground module. It's the chassis and wheels for driving on conventional roads. You get into the pod and after that, artificial intelligence does all the work for you. It steers the car safely and takes you to your destination. When you get out of the cab, the pod with the ground module is sent to the nearest charging station. For convenience, charging stations will be located throughout the city, so you won't have to wait long for a cab. But if your destination is far away, a more interesting ride awaits you. Like in the first case, you get into a pod on wheels. The ground module takes you to the nearest takeoff site. There, the capsule gets attached to the air module. This thing looks like a giant drone. It hooks the passenger capsule and flies up, separating the pod from the ground module. Now, it's a flying cab. You can enjoy the beauty of the city from above. When you land on a special platform, the pod reconnects with the ground module and you proceed to your destination while the air module charges for the next trip. Rockets might be another revolution in long distance travel. For now, we use them to fly into space, but in the future, they might completely replace airplanes. Let's say you're going from New York to Shanghai, which is on the other side of the planet. The launching pad of the rocket can be on the water, somewhere in Lower Bay. You board a ferry that will take you to the rocket. Once you reach it, you take your seat along with the other passengers. Countdown. Ignition. The rocket takes off and reaches space. It's now traveling at about 16,800 miles per hour. When in orbit, the launch vehicle undocks from the passenger rocket and heads back to the landing station. There, it will be refueled and prepared for the next launch. At this time, the rocket with the passengers will use its own engine to fly around Earth. 
It re-enters the atmosphere and lands on a platform on the water near Shanghai. This flight takes only 39 minutes compared to the 15 hours a conventional airplane needs. But there's a downside to such trips. A rocket makes a lot more noise, so landing platforms have to be far away from the cities. This will increase travel time. The other problem is G-force. Standing on the ground, you feel 1G. When you take off in a normal airplane, you feel about 1.5G. But when you travel by rocket, the G-force you'll experience will be twice as strong. And if it reaches 5G, you'll pass out. Back to the ground. In 2010, the number of cars in the world exceeded 1 billion. And by 2030, this number is expected to double. So, we need to fight constant traffic jams on the roads. The elevated bus could be a great solution for that. This thing doesn't actually look like a bus. It's two lanes wide and can consist of several cars. Such a bus will be able to carry up to 1,200 passengers at maximum capacity. And it will run on regular roads. We'll need to equip the roads along its route with rails on both sides. The elevated bus itself will move at about 6.5 feet above the road. This is comparable to riding on the second floor of a London double-decker bus. And it won't interfere with traffic on the road. Regular cars will still be able to drive there. The elevated bus will be all electric and driven by autopilot. Its roof will have a large area entirely covered by solar panels. On cloudy days, it'll be powered directly from the rails. Passenger boarding will take place at special stations located above ground. For emergencies, there will be an inflatable ramp light in the middle of the bus. This way, passengers will be able to leave the bus safely. Some concepts of such a bus even suggest that the racks with the wheels should be able to rise. For example, to bypass an obstacle. If some car breaks down right in the way of the elevated bus, it'll lift one wheel rack, move forward, and lower the wheels back onto the rails. The most incredible technology for transporting things and people could be teleportation. Unfortunately, we won't see a teleportation machine in the near future. But we will be able to ride perfect self-driving cars with autopilots on the road and in the air. We will also ride flying motorcycles and take a vacuum train to get from New York to Los Angeles in just a few minutes. So. Let's start with self-driving cars. The principle of operation of almost all such vehicles is the same. The car has cameras and sensors, high-precision maps, and radars that scan the situation on the road. A common system unites such machines. Each of them knows where the others are, and this prevents accidents or traffic jams. Of course, today's cars with autopilot are not so impressive. Many people drive them, but imagine what will happen when all vehicles on Earth get united by a common artificial intelligence. People will forget about traffic jams forever. Computers will predict dangerous situations and prevent them. But what will people do on the road if they don't drive cars? The developers will focus on passenger entertainment. The car will be able to tell you the exact time of the trip. Do you need to arrive at noon sharp? Okay, the car may intentionally slow down or increase its speed. It will turn into a real electronic assistant. You can have a meeting, order food, and choose a movie with the help of voice control. The driver's seat has a mini movie theater, a game console, or a mini refrigerator. People who like to communicate with drivers will be able to speak with advanced artificial intelligence. But, of course, there will also be problems. The main one will be the excessive correctness of driving. Scientists and developers are working on humanizing machines. Here's an example. Let's say the car is driving along a busy street and notices a man standing by the road. The car's internal system quickly analyzes the situation and decides that the person is going to step onto the road. The only reaction of the computer is to pull over. The car is slowing down. Another car stops behind it. The first vehicle has created a dangerous situation and a traffic jam. And the man was not even going to cross the street. He was just standing there, waiting for his friend. Deal with this issue. The developers of some companies equip their cars with a voice. That is, they taught them to honk. In a problematic situation, such a vehicle will press the horn like an angry driver. 
but the car can slow down if a bird flies by. No horn signal will save you here. On the one hand, the human factor is one of the main causes of road accidents. On the other, a person can analyze a situation much better and choose the right solution. It's unlikely that a machine on autopilot will stop to pick up a guy hitchhiking on the side of the road. Perhaps this guy has gotten into trouble and he urgently needs to leave that place. Or maybe he was bitten by a snake and he needs to go to a hospital. The computer can't know that, but a kind person behind the wheel will stop and offer help. Even if the world gets rid of traffic jams, people will strive for something more, whether on the road or in the air. Many engineers believe that autonomous flying taxis and buses are the future of transport. But gravity-powered flights will appear in the distant future. Such machines will work on the principle of a helicopter. They will be stylish, small helicopters equipped with autopilot. Uber and other companies are investing in such technologies, and you might soon be able to use them. Let's say you're late for some event. You open the app and book the helicopter closest to you. Next, you go to the roof, where many aircraft are parked. Then your pilot takes you to the parking lot of your destination. And from there, you quickly reach the location you need. And imagine the same thing, but for many people at once. You arrive at a particular train station and get on a bus with wings. It takes off and follows a long route, taking you and other passengers to another city. And what if such giant buses could take you into space? Not only cars will have propellers, but also motorcycles. There are already hover bikes designed for one passenger. You put on a helmet and sit on a small device. In 2025, you will be able to buy such bikes for $50,000. Unlike flying cars, hover bikes cannot take off to a great height or accelerate to high speeds. But in the future, this technology will evolve. Air taxis and autopilot cars only work in the air or on smooth roads. But what if you need to cross an area with a mountainous landscape or swamps? For such off-road areas, Hyundai has developed the coolest SUV. Instead of wheels, it has legs. This walking vehicle passes through difficult sections and does it with maximum comfort. Each leg has knees and can bend. It will take you to a high hill or even to the top of a volcano. Soon, you won't need to go shopping because stores will come to you. Toyota has already created an unusual car you can turn into a store with any goods. Clothes, groceries, toys, jewelry, whatever. Such vehicles could improve delivery services and provide more comfort to people on trips. Now, as of today, there are around 400 million monthly active users hanging out inside virtual worlds. Hmm, doesn't feel all that crowded, but hey, I live on the other side of your screen. So the sci-fi future we've been waiting for is already here. But technology is not all about fun and games. It's also here to make our lives easier. And these inventions are proof of that. So buckle up as I teleport you to the near future and show you what one day will look like. You get out of your bed and head to the kitchen for breakfast or to your smart fridge to be more precise. The world's biggest tech and appliance companies have been working on developing fridges with some mind-blowing features for quite some time now. These can scan the content stored inside of them, keeping track of what items you're running low on. Their built-in touchscreens will display lots of information for you, from your daily schedule to a slideshow of family photos. Just like any other wireless device you have, you'll be able to connect them to your home's Wi-Fi. Once they are connected to the internet, they can interact with other connected devices in your home. So, you'll even be able to move the show that you were watching in the living room to the touchscreen of your smart fridge and not miss that big twist. This screen will also let you know when and what items you need to reorder, as well as recommend recipes based on the ingredients you already have inside the fridge. The system behind these new and improved fridges will rely on the barcode or the radio frequency identification tags your food packaging will have. These are actually already being used by food manufacturers to manage stock and shipping. 
By scanning the tags or the barcodes, your fridge can access details such as expiration dates to keep an accurate inventory of your food. And just in case you're wondering how much having a fridge that sends you a shopping list will cost you, it'll range somewhere between $2,000 and $5,000. Your smart fridge warns that the coffee cream is expired. Oops, guess it's time to head to the store. Now, don't worry about searching for your wallet, though. You will need neither cash nor a credit card to buy stuff. This will be possible all thanks to the tiny microchips which can be implanted into your hand. Don't get too excited, though. One chip won't turn you into a cool cyborg or anything. This chip technology actually already exists in digital house keys, e-tickets, and bank cards. What will make them different now is that once the implantation process is complete, they will get linked to all of your online accounts. This will allow you to open your front door, hop onto the public bus or train, and buy groceries all with a flick of a wrist. You come home and finally have your morning coffee uh, with cream. Now it's time to actually make yourself something to eat. Ah, such a bore. Or maybe not, thanks to your cyber chef. In 2015, a robotics company shook the culinary world when they presented their new invention, a robot that uses giant hands to cook meals. This master chef comes pre-programmed with thousands of recipes from world-class human chefs, so you won't need to Google how to make the perfect pie crust anymore. The robot that's named Moly will do everything from pour to stir, but unfortunately, it can't prepare ingredients for the recipes it's going to make. At least, not yet. Maybe I've seen too many movies, but it's probably not such a great idea to give a robot a knife anyway, right? However, if you prepare the ingredients yourself and put them inside special containers, it will recognize the ones it's supposed to use. Once it's done preparing food, it will clean up surfaces too. Ah, finally, your own bus boy. Molly can plan and adapt its recipes according to your diet preferences and calorie intake limits. However, you can also add your own recipes to its list through the touchscreen, and it can recreate your grandma's casserole with 100% accuracy for you. But you know what? I bet you can hire a personal chef for yourself and the amount you will pay to get Molly, which is $340,000. And the best part is, they can even prepare the ingredients for you. Now, as the clock strikes noon, you'll receive a text message from your mom. She reminds you about her visit, which will be in an hour. Uh Uh-oh, you totally forgot about that. Well, you take a look around your house and realize that you haven't been doing any cleaning for quite some time. But she can't see it like this. This is where super suits might come in handy. The Guardian XO is a rechargeable, battery-powered, and mechanical full-body exoskeleton that's designed to make you faster and stronger. Using its electrical motors and a state-of-the-art set of 100 ultra-precise body sensors, it combines human intelligence, instinct, and judgment with the endurance and precision of machines. It can increase your strength and allow you to lift up to 200 pounds of weight like you're lifting a feather, and it won't restrict your movement at all. So you can clean under your sofa, bed, or that smart refrigerator pretty easily and quickly before your mom arrives. Talk about productivity. But don't get your hopes up too much. It doesn't have the technology to allow you to stop buses like Superman or jump over buildings like Neo. So it's not really suited to saving the world. But it sure can be a lifesaver if you're moving into a new house. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.